The 43rd annual Hot Air Balloon Festival kicking off in Queechee all weekend long. Balloons are scheduled to launch twice a day. NBC5's John Hawks checked in with organizers about what people can expect from the festival. He joins us live now with more details. Hey, John. Yeah, that's right, Alice and Brian. I'm out here on the Queechee Green where the balloons are starting to get ready. We haven't uh, heard the official word yet, but uh, it's underway all weekend long. The 43rd annual Queechee Balloon Festival kicking off for Father's Day weekend. It's the longest running festival of its kind in New England, and it's a rain or shine event. Balloonists are very affected by weather, but mostly by wind. A little bit of rain wouldn't do them any harm, but uh, the, wind, the rain usually brings wind with it. Right? So they can't fly unless it's under 10 miles an hour. And best, best time for flying is like between 5 and 7 miles an hour. The festival will feature 16 hot air balloons with plans of launching every morning around 6 a.m. and every evening around 6 p.m. All balloon rides are sold out, but there is one last minute opportunity to get high in the sky. We also hope to get some tethered balloons up. Tethered balloons are balloons that go up about 100 feet in the air. And they're, they're exciting and it's about $25 for getting the tethered balloon right up and there's a better chance of getting them up with the weather. There are other attractions besides flying over the Vermont landscape, like food trucks, 60 local craft vendors, and beer and wine gardens. You know, we have about 12 to 15 food vendors, everything from pizza to sourdough to the usual vendor fare, and uh, also Skinny Pancake are here. They're a big, they're a big favorite every year. Grilled cheese and tomato soup is making a return this year, and watching the crowds is this vendor's favorite part. But just seeing everybody out and hanging out and selling a lot of grilled cheeses with tomato soup for dunking and slurping. For some little ones, food is taking a priority. I've never had any cotton candy before, though. Live music will also be a big part of the festival all three days. Same with kids entertainment, magicians, comedians and jugglers will make an appearance in the kids zone. The Chamber of Commerce is telling us that this is one of their largest events of the year and they're happy to see people come from all over to attend. And now Tyler 